what is good everyone welcome back to another video and in this video i'm going to cover standard deviations with market maker models as always i'm going to go over some template examples then we will go over them in price action itself i'm going to characterize this in three parts so i'm going to go over the original consolidation how you can find where price is likely to expand to and how far and I'm going to show you guys how you can utilize a breaker to understand standard deviations. And then I'm going to show you how you can use a order block which changes its state of delivery to anchor standard deviations. Before we begin, I want to put up a screenshot of my standard deviation settings. Here are all my settings that you guys can screenshot and input into your Fibonacci. The max expansion is minus 4 and minus 4.5. This is where you want to be seeing price reach into. And the rest is irrelevant in my opinion. So how can we utilize a consolidation in the market maker model? This line right here is our higher time frame PDA rate or a buy side liquidity pool that we trade into. So this consolidation right here, we will match the standard deviations up with the high time frame PDA rate. We will measure from the low of the consolidation to the high. And as you guys can see, we trade into minus four. So this is an area where we would expect price to reverse. And as we traded into a high time frame PDA array, this makes it a much more high probability reversal. From minus 3.5 to minus 4.5, this is an ideal area for a reversal. And when we match this up with a high time frame PDA array and a liquidity ball, this makes the reversal even more high probability. And we are anchoring it from the original consolidation. Before I showed you guys a bearish example of the projection, I'm going to show you now a bullish example of the projection. Utilizing the consolidation high to the consolidation low, you can see that we get a minus 4.5 projection. This is just a template of how you can utilize this theory. And as I said before, minus 3.5 to minus 4.5 is the ideal areas for a reversal, especially when we have a high time frame PD array. So if any of this is confusing to anyone, I am going to go over examples about this in price action. So over here, I have an example of New Zealand USD where you are anchoring the consolidation to find a projection. From the consolidation high to low, you can see that we trade into minus 3 and minus 3.5. This is a perfect area for a reversal. And this dotted line is where sell side liquidity was resting. Once we trade into the sell side liquidity, the standard deviation is just a projection of how low we can go. Here we trade into a perfect area of for a reversal. So when you see price start to trade away from the projection from the consolidation, the consolidation now becomes our area of target. <clears throat> we have buy side liquidity resting above the consolidation and the return into this up close candle, we will be buying this. And the logical area to put your stop loss is where the reversal took place, and that is 3.5. Then you can target the buy side liquidity, and as you can see, price starts to trade away into the consolidation. So this is just an example of utilizing the consolidation projections and how we can use them as targets for reversals. So back on the template side of things, I'm gonna show you guys how you can utilize a breaker with standard deviations. Below this low, we have sell side liquidity, and this is how the breaker forms from this low to this high to this lower low. What you are going to do is draw your projections from this low, and this is how far price can expand into. For expansions, you want to see minus 2.5 to minus 2. This is perfect for targets, and this is what I personally utilize. So compared to using the consolidation for reversals, you want to see a at least a minus 3.5 for target you want to target minus 2.5 and you are targeting minus 2.5 to minus 2 you will often find that minus 2 perfectly aligned with the original consolidation and this is a perfect area to take profit now i'm going to show you guys a bearish template so what i am explaining here i do realize it is a bit advanced and it might be going over a lot of people's heads so i will be uploading a pdf or a thread on my twitter page and i will try and condense it into much more simple terms for people that find it harder to understand so make sure to check out all my socials there will be a link to that in the description down below moving on this is a bearish example above this high we have buy side liquidity and this is how the bearish breaker forms from this high to this low to this higher high the candles which form here we will draw them out in time and now this bearish breaker will be used as an area of targets from the high to the low you can see that we trade into minus two so this is a perfect area to take profit and this is usually what i am utilizing when using standard deviations for the breaker now i'm going to show you guys an example of this in price action 
So over here, I'm going to go over the exact same example that I showed you for utilizing the consolidation. However, I'm going to show you how you can project a breakout. So from this candle's low to this candle's high and this lower low, this is our breakout. Once we trade below here and we trade away from the reversal and the sell side liquidity pool, this is where we will be using our projections from. ICT likes to use the bodies of the candles. So from this body to here, this is a perfect area that you can use for the projections. However, I do like to use the weight. So from this weight to the high of the breaker, you can see that this perfectly aligns with the original consolidation. And as you can see, we do have buy side liquidity resting above here. So same as the previous example, your stop loss will go below the reversal low and you will target the buy side liquidity pool. So what I've already explained with the consolidation and utilizing the breaker, this is a model itself and you guys can use this in your own strategy and you can make a strategy out of this. If you would like me to make a video going over a full strategy using this, I'm more than happy to do so. Just leave a comment down below. And as you can see, we trade into the minus 2.5 and minus 2. This is a perfect area to take profit. And you can see that we trade perfectly into minus 3. Minus 3 and beyond is basically a perfect area for reversals, as I showed you guys here for the consolidation. And now finally, I'm going to go over an example of how you can use a order block. So if you have made it this far into the video, I am going to be making some short form trade breakdowns with a 100k account that I'm taking with day funded. They're a newly launched prop firm. However, I am trading with them right now to let you guys know how the trading environment is and how it is trading with them. They do have a very good support team if you guys have any questions. I will leave a link to them in the description down below. I would recommend you guys checking them out because their broker that they are using, I think it is one of the best in the industry right now. As well as that, they do have 50% off on all challenges, which I have been utilizing myself. So back to the video, this is how you can utilize order blocks for projections. The best projections will form when a order block has changed its state of delivery. So this is our consolidation. Bearish order blocks will form in this price leg and this return back is where we will be selling. So say if the order block formed right here and this price leg trades back into it, this is where we will be selling <clears throat> with a stop loss above this high and a target of minus 2.5 as a low hanging fruit. Because at minus 2.5 and minus two, you will also see when price trades to these targets that it trades away and returns to a area of short term premium when we are bearish and the area of short term discount when we are bullish. So this is a perfect area to target low hanging fruit. And the order blocks will form inside of this price leg. And once we trade into a liquidity pool, we are using the projections from the order blocks. Now I'm going to go over a bullish example of this. Here I have a bullish example of a market maker model. The bullish order blocks will form inside of this price leg and this return is what we will be utilizing to buy. As you can see, we will draw out our projections and we will target the low hanging fruit, which is minus two. And you can see the price delivers into that area and you can see that minus two aligns perfectly with the original consolidation. So this was a template example of where order blocks will form and how you can utilize their projection methods. Now I'm going to show you them in price action itself. Here I'm going to show you guys a price action example of standard deviations with the order block. So you can quite clearly see that this is a market maker buy model and we have traded into sell side liquidity here and we have had a reversal. So this is the smart money reversal and this candle right here, this is where we change the state of delivery. If I draw it out in time, you can see that we failed to even trade to 50% and we traded away. So this shows that the market is ready to go higher and it is a bullish market. So the standard deviation projection will be drawn from this candle's low to this candle's high. So these two consecutive down close candles will be our order blocks. When we match these two candles up with a fair value gap right here, this makes the PDRA much more high probability. And we can look to enter along here and our stop loss can go below this candle's low. Target minus two. And you can see that minus two projects perfectly with the original consolidation. All we need to do is wait for us to get tagged in and then we wait for price to either hit our stop loss or go to our take profit. As you can see, we trade above the consolidation and we take our buy side liquidity and we trade into the sweet spot of minus two and minus 2.5. And this is ideally where you want to be taking profit because this is where price can reverse and seek discount when we are bullish, which it does right here. We trade into it and we trade into an area of fair value 
and we just range around. And now finally, I'm gonna go over a full example of utilizing a consolidation and a breakup. So this is just the strategy itself, but if you want me to cover it in a whole different video, I can. So here I have an example of USD CHF. So to draw our projections, we're gonna use this candle's low to this candle's high. And you can see that this is minus four. So we are above max expansion and we can expect price to reverse anything above here. And you can see most of the bodies are accumulating inside of this fair value gap and the minus 4.5 projection. So here, this is a mitigation block because we failed to go above this candle's high. So this is form of a breaker. However, it fails to take out this high. So a breaker usually makes a higher high. This candle fails to do so and it is a lower low. So this makes it a mitigation block here. So we're gonna utilize this candle's high to this candle's low for our projections. And you can see that minus 2.5 matches perfectly with our original consolidation. So once we are in a area of fair value like here, so this is an inversion fair value gap, our stop loss is above this high, and then we target the low hanging fruit. And as you can see, price starts to trade lower. I hope you guys found this video insightful about standard deviations and market maker models. I am going to cover this in a PDF form or a thread on my Twitter page, so make sure to check that out. And thanks for watching.